This is actually a recording for students to show them how to navigate around Teams and specifically for the use of the assignments feature within here. So when you log into Teams, and you can do that one of two ways, you can download it on your machine and access it through the app like um, we can here, or you can log in to office.com like I have here, and you'll see the Teams icon there, and you can access Teams from online. So I've gone in as one of my test students here, and I'm part of three different groups. I'm going to click into this one here so I can show you um, some of the features within here. So your landing page, when you click on your Teams page, is the general channel, and it's your conversation post. So this is where discussions occur within this team site. And this is where notifications that your teacher set up for you will display here. So for example, I set up a group chat meeting with all the members of my team site and it would show up here. And what that means is that you just have to click on this link and you can join that chat session, that video session, when it is set up. The other thing that comes up here is anytime I assign an assignment, the link for that assignment is right here, so you can access your assignments right from here. Teachers may also post just files that they want you to access from there. The other um, feature of your sites is the Files tab. I know some teachers just post resources right within here, and this is for you to click into here where you can see them where they might not be posted anywhere else. Materials within this class materials right here are read-only materials. That means that your teacher just wants you to look at them, but not be able to edit any of them. And the last one that I'm going to show you is assignments. So I know a lot of teachers are using the assignments feature within here to let you do your work online, access all your assignments, and be able to turn it in. So for this particular student, I've assigned things within here, but that student has completed them. So what that means is that I've assigned it, but they have gone in and clicked the Turn In button here, and so they've handed it in. If I, if they, I had one assigned here, but they haven't clicked Turn In, it would still be located here. So let's go in and take a look at some of these assignments right here. So this test assignment here, it was due yesterday. The student handed it in, received feedback for it, and received points. However, what the teacher has done is they've set it up so that even there's a due date on there, they've allowed you time to look through your feedback, make the adjustments, and turn it in again. So what that means is I can go into my document just by clicking on it. I'm going to edit in the browser. Your teacher might have made a comment this way. So if the teacher made a comment, Dawson, please use capitals. So I'm going to go in as the student and I'm going to capitalize this. Now that I've capitalized it, this document saves automatically here. I don't have to save it at all because it's saving it online. I'm going to close it. I've made the adjustments so I can turn it in again. On this assignment, I've turned it in, but this assignment isn't due until today. So even though I've turned it in, I've realized all of a sudden that I missed something within one of the requirements that my teacher wanted me to do. So again, I can go in. I can undo my turn in. I can wait till this is done unlocking because once you turn it in, uh, you can't work on it. And I'm going to finish doing my rubric here. My, my teacher asked me to self reflect using a rubric. So what I do here is I'm selecting my highlight pen and I highlight 
in my rubric. That's how I'm completing it. So again, you can see that it's auto-saved. I close it and now I'm going to turn it in again. So when you click on your assignment, a number of things will be displayed for you. When it's due, the instructions written in text format for you guys, and here might just be purely text, there might be some links or some resources within here. If your teacher attaches reference material, so here there's an outline that if I click on that, uh, this is the set of instructions, a little bit more detailed. Here is a space where my teacher has attached two things for me here that I know that I will need to go in and add some information here. Over here tells me how many points this assignment is out of. And here I can see that my teacher has created a rubric specifically designed for this assignment. So I can click on there to see what the expectations are. Finally, there's one button called the turn in button. And what this does is this actually physically turns in your work. This notifies your teacher that the work here is done and it is ready to be marked by you. So when your teacher attaches documents under my work, what that means is that you can open up those documents and do your work right on the computer itself within the Teams program. So if I click on here, this opens up my Word document, and I can click over here and say Edit in Browser. If you have Word installed on your local device, go ahead and say Open in Desktop. If not, edit it in your browser. That way you can edit on an Android phone, on an iPhone, and even on a desktop computer that does not have Word installed. So once I click in here, now I can see my ribbons. I can do all my formatting just like I can with any Word document that looks normal. I can also type in my documents here. So here my teacher has asked me to do a description, to do uh, different things right within here. So my cursor's there and I can start typing. Again, it's auto-saving and I can close it. My teacher will be able to access this and view all the changes that I've done. The other option that I can do is I can add work from here. So say if my teacher did not include anything from here and they've asked me to create a PowerPoint that I need to add for this specific assignment, I can click on this Add button and I can do one of two things, one of three things actually. I can navigate my Office 365 OneDrive account. So this is your cloud storage that slowly will be changing over so that you guys can save everything here. Or if you've created it on your local device, you can upload it from this device. So I have my favorite food PowerPoint right there. I'm going to open and I am attaching it. So what this does now is this is, attaches it right there so that when I turn it in, my teacher can see this. And the last thing that this lets us do is this lets us do a new file. So what this will do is this will create a whole new um, file in my team site that I can then work on. There it is right there. I click on it. And this one I don't even need to edit, I can type in right away. Okay, again it saves automatically. I click close and then my teacher can see it there. When I have completed everything that I need to, I click turn in. Get a really cool animation, those are different every single time. But again, because this isn't due until tomorrow, I do have the option of undoing it. Now, what's really cool is you don't have to keep checking 
your assignment to see if your teacher has marked it. As soon as your teacher marks it and returns it to you, you will get a notification saying that the assignment has been returned. Click on that notification and you will see your mark and any feedback. Lastly, what this enables you to do is you can click on the Grades tab up top here and you can see all the assignments in all of your classes. So although we are just in this one team site right here, you might be part of three, four, five, however many. Your assignments tab will list it for all of your classes that you're in. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, make sure that you contact your teacher.